What's up guys? Today, I'm gonna fix my vest. There's nothing wrong with it. It's one of my favorite vests. It's the Eagle from Premier Body Armor. It's a level 3A soft armor vest that accepts hard plates. There's an extra pouch in the front and the same one in the back that'll accept hard plates. Some of you may know I carry a separate rifle plate carrier. Um, that's already loaded with Wilder Tactical um, pouches for my AR-15 magazine pouches. They fit up front. I carry three 30-round mags across. Well, that's something I want to do with this one. Because currently I wear it without pouches because I wear a rig. I wear a, uh, a nylon rig that's already outfitted with uh, magazine holders and my cuff case that I wear in my soft clothes. Because in my uh, everyday patrol uniform, I wear leather gear. But when I work that specialized detail that some of you guys know I do, I wear soft clothes. I wear jeans and a t-shirt and this vest. So I want to eliminate the belt altogether. I'm going to wear my holster on a Safari Land drop rig that just goes onto a belt. I need to wear a belt anyway to keep my jeans up. But I want to put all my stuff on here. So how this belt works is it's got a clip system. I don't know if you can tell, but the clips are on the, so this is the magazine hold, holder and there's clips back here. See, they fit right on, I'll just take them out. Anyhow, they're clips. It's like if I wanted to dress it out on my uh, belt, if I wanted, if I was wearing a belt, oh, I am wearing a belt, I just clip it on there. It's the same thing, they feel secure. This rig right here is the neoprene, um, belt pad that I put I put on with a Blue Alpha Gear uh, nylon belt, and the Blue Alpha Gear folks are great. They actually use the um, original Cobra buckle. There's a lot of imitations out there, but this is the Cobra buckle, the patented Cobra buckle. I went with a metal buckle because it's freaking amazing, but it's the uh, Austria Alpin Cobra buckle. Authentic. It says so right there. Booyah! Anyhow. So, see, I go back and forth because sometimes I like to wear, I like to wear the nylon rig and sometimes I like to wear nothing on my belt and just have put everything on my vest. So, and I didn't have any place to put my cell phone. As you know, putting things in your pocket can be cumbersome. So I got this, it's a pouch I got on Amazon. It's a mo Molly rig pouch, nothing special to it. But I'm gonna put this on my vest and I reached out to Wilder Tactical because I love their stuff. And I got two new magazine pouches and another cuff case. Difference is, these are all set up to be Molly receivers. Have you seen these Molly receivers? When you buy Molly kits, most of you guys buy Molly kits and there are these straps that you have to put through buckles and everything. These are super awesome. They're the Blade Tech Molly rigs. Have you seen those? Now, if you order your pouches from Wilder Tactical, you can use coupon code nine, actually, Premier Body Armor if you wanna buy your own vest, and Wilder Tactical, and even Blue Alpha Gear, uh, who sells these nylon in belts with the Cobra buckle. Coupon code 911 strong. Anyways, you'll order a Molly rig from Wilder Tactical. It's gonna come with the Blade Tech um, Molly fitting. They lock in place, which I love. So you don't have to mess with the straps and stuff like you do when you buy stuff like this. So, first things first, I want everything put to the front of my vest. I just don't know how I want mine outlined. So we're gonna figure that out. So, I guess I'm gonna clear this table and we'll lay it out and figure it out from there. Hi. All right, first things first, this is the front of my vest. I want everything in front of my vest. So I've gotta figure this out. I know I want a pouch. The pouch has to go long ways. I guess I could figure, I mean, I guess I can do it sideways, but the Molly configuration, if you look on the back, makes it so it has to be open top. So I guess I can put this here. So traditionally, I wear my magazines on my left side. If I put these here, I can't, maybe I can, I guess I can load two here. So we're just gonna have to experiment, see how I like it. So with that said, I'm gonna go to the extreme far left with this Molly system. This one's probably gonna be the most difficult because like I said, the Wilder Tactical Gear comes with the Blade Tech Molly backing, which make, 
things a whole hell of a lot easier. But I've got to fist this through and then tighten, pull, tighten, and pull, which takes a little bit of time. But let's see if I can get lucky on the first try. All right, that one's pretty snug. Okay, let's see. This one looks like I'm gonna have to fish through the center molly straps, which I was hoping to avoid, but we'll see what I can do with the front magazines. All right, so this one's going through the center. Fish through this tension buckle. Pull this buckle through here. And tighten that up. Okay. All right. Pouch, what do I need a pouch for? Cuff key, pens, they go in here eventually, cell phone. Let's zip that up. All right, do I have, I do, I got two things left here. Let's see. Blade Tech, Molly Pouch, super easy. You open this, you release the spring, and you just fish these through. Do I want these higher or lower? I don't know, let's try them on the low end and see if I like them. That's it, that's in. Let's do the same thing with the other. Let's see if I've got enough room. Dude, I do. Looks looks pretty pretty good. The cuffs. Mm, that's gonna be tricky. Do I want them up here? Do I want them here? I guess I can put them on the pouch. I don't know what configuration is gonna look good, but you know what? This pouch system has Molly on the outside of the pouch. Let's just run it like this and see how it looks. You know, it doesn't look half bad. Now we gotta put it on. I'll be right back. All right, I got my vest put together. Let's see how I like it. You know, another thing I, I didn't tell you, uh, the reason why I like the Premier Body Armor Eagle is it doesn't have, you know, I, I've had them all too. I've, I've had just about every vest you can try, like the Cry, um, even the Amazon ones, what do they sell, the Voodoo Tactical? I know that's pretty popular with some of you guys out there that are trying to do this on a budget, but you know, spend the extra money and get something that's gonna last and that's convenient, why? Because look, some of the other ones have that really cumbersome cummerbund system where you've gotta lift this strap up and then there's this inner strap right here. I don't know if you can see, I'll show you right now. But there's this inner strap that you strap. What does that do? That pulls the back panels in. This back panel here, holds it close to your body. And then, then you gotta, there's another flap that usually comes out of the bottom of this. You got to flap underneath that. It's totally cumbersome. I hate that. All, all I got to do is do the inner straps. And then these outer straps. And I'm done. But I think I like these. You know, I've never had my cuff case in the front because I usually wear them in the belt. But I like it up here because when I have somebody in the search position, I've got my hands on their hands, controlling their hands. What's the difference between me reaching behind my back for the cuffs that fit on my right side or pulling them out here? I don't have my magazines with me, but let's show you how. If you're not familiar with these Wilder Tactical pouches, they're molded and they're universal. So I can fit one of those popular Smith & Wesson um, plastic cuffs. I can fit the Peerless like I have, and they're snug. You gotta jack them out to pull them because they've got a bungee retention system. And you can actually adjust these out in the bottom. Can you see right here? They've got this um, fastener that releases the tension. I like it right here because you know what? Where I had it was pretty good. So I'll put it back. So these cuffs are good. They're gonna stay right there. And these magazines are the same. They're, that's how they're designed. They're all designed the same. My tourniquet, which is on my in my gear bag because I carry it 10-8, I'm probably gonna ask them for another tourniquet pouch because I've got room. I might stick it right here. And if you're not carrying a tourniquet out in the field, do it, okay? Count all these tactical cops out there will tell you the most important piece of equipment you can have in addition to your safety gear is a tourniquet. It's gonna save not only your life, but it can save somebody else's life too. And as you can see with this Eagle from Premier Body Armor, I got plenty of room for other gear. As a matter of fact, I, mean, I don't carry my AR pouches on this vest, but I might do that. By the way, these stack. If I wanted to, I could put my AR magazine pouches here, and these go right in front of them AR pouches. Well, I'm interested to see how that fits. So I've got only about this much room here. I could double stack the AR, but then, I don't know. For me, I like to be able to keep things as flat as possible, especially for proning positions. If I prone down, 
I want to have as small a profile as possible. Once I start stacking magazines here, that's going to make things that much harder. So I don't know, from both angles, I'm pretty, pretty slim profile with this vest. I've seen other vests that come with the pouch systems that, I don't know, they're really big. So I can't imagine trying to prone out with that. And look, if I have to get to a situation where I need to make myself as flat as possible, look, with this Blade Tech backing, I just pull it out. It's, it's out. But I can assure you, when things are locked in, they're locked in. So I love the Blade Tech system. Um, I just, where did it go? Is it locked in? Oh, there it is. It's locked in place, okay? All these are actually locked in place, and they're all Blade Tech backed. Wilder Tactical, coupon code 911 strong, Premier Body Armor, coupon code 911 strong. Well, thanks for watching me put this patch, pouch and uh, Wilder Tactical accessories on my vest. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure this is the end of it. You might see another video of me sticking more stuff on here. I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this thing. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. If you can recommend a different configuration, let me know, but uh, I'm open to it. But so far, I think this is how I'm going to go 10-8. Thanks, guys.